Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some more History Maker Golf. I really do enjoy this game. My playthroughs are not meant to be tutorials. I play the game to the best of my ability. I will make mistakes and I will play things a little differently sometimes with homebrew rules than other people might. That being said, we're going to take a look at the course uh, designer's toolbox. And basically, they, they give you a bunch of cards, and you can make your own golf course, which is kind of cool. Uh, I made a golf course. I counted out X amount of par fours, X amount of par fives, X amount of par threes, mixed them up, um, and then put them in an order. So we've created a golf course. We'll be using Sergio Garcia and Francesco Molinari from the 2010 set. And we'll play some holes. We might play four holes, five holes, nine holes, 18 holes. We'll see how it goes. But it's, it was kind of fun, and I like the cards. You know me, I like color. Um, I sort of I wanted to make it 36 holes and 36 holes, but I kind of messed that up. So it's 35. I'm sorry, the uh, par. 35 in front, 36 in back for a total of 71. Our first hole, <laughs> I believe this yellow triangle means it's daunting putt. Uh, you know, ex if you hit the hazard, the putting's harder. I believe that's what that means. There's no explanation point, but I think that's what that means. You can correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm sure someone will, usually in the comments, quite rudely. Not here in the chat, of course, but anyhow. A little levity, folks. So this is a par four, really tough hole. One, two, three, four, five. This is almost like the hole of death. It's kind of ironic. And I, I shuffled them, you know, the par fours, the par threes, the par fives, and I then I picked them. Um, so it is kind of funny that we have a, a really tough par four. Um, it's challenging, daunting. It's 515 yards, but I do love the color. I love color, um, and you can see they're all nice and colorful, and they'll say we're, like, that's um, Portage, I think. This other one, I know, that's Melbourne, so on and so forth. Joining us here, we have the original Grognard, our good friend OG. It's Devin. Hope all is well with you and your family. Alan Barry, Arnold Hunter, Michael Canastari, Robert Bryant. All right, so let's go to the links. Sergio Garcia is up first. I don't alternate golfers. Sergio Golf Garcia will always go first. Francesco Molinari second. Who do you think I'm rooting for? Let's see if the, if the chat can figure this one out. You, you should be able to, especially Mr. Michael Canastari. Who am I rooting for? Anyway, we're going to have some fun. I really do enjoy this game, as I always say. Play the games you like. Play them the way you want. All right, so Sergio Garcia is up. He is a semi-legend, king, semi-bomber for Woods traits. Iron, he's hero, putting, recovery, neutral, experience, icon. As Michael Conestari says, go Italy. You are correct in this battle between Spain and Italia. The Azuri. Francesco Malinari, Woods, legend, semi-king, shaper, Irons, semi-champion hero, putting, recovery, neutral, experience icon. So Sergio Garcia is up first on the tee. And again, if I do something a little wrong, please correct me in the chat, and I'll explain either why I'm doing it a certain way or, yeah, I did that wrong, and I will correct it. Here we go. Sergio Garcia looking for that white six. He gets a three, so it's going to be course control, and that's a 16 and he'll have his semi-traits. So a 16 is not bad. It's going to be golf cam course. So that's not bad at all. So we're going to go to golf cam course. Let me flip to the page. Golf cam course with a 1. So it's a golf cam course with a 1. I don't know how this setup looks. It's a little more... We usually don't keep score because we're playing like a knockout. So it's a par four golf 
Cam Course 1. Is it a cordial hole? No. Is he a laser golfer? Sergio Garcia is not a laser golfer. Nicely saved from the rough to the outer area of the green. Clutch putt for par. So Sergio Garcia gets a nice iron shot, but he has to make a clutch putt for par. He is neutral so that a clutch putt for par is one, two, or three. We're going to use the green die. Sergio Garcia with the putt, and he makes it. So a clutch putt for par, he gets his blue chip. And shoot, I got the wrong guy in the wrong spot. That's okay. So Sergio Garcia pars the hole. He's even. And we'll just say he made a clutch putt. So he made a clutch putt for par. That brings up Francesco Malinari. Malinari gets a one. So course control, 25 and a five with a decider die. He'll have his... Semi traits. So a 25. Ooh, second shot is in the rough. That's not good for Francesco Malinari. And that's going to make the putting. I believe this means the putting will be more difficult. So Francesco Malinari, second shot. The iron shot goes into the rough. And we'll flip the handy dandy book. Hope everyone's doing well on this. Saturday now into Sunday, depending where you are. So par four, second shot in the rough. All right, second shot is in the rough, and we have a green five. Second shot. Master. Is Malinari a master? No, he is not. He is not a master. Let's do is it better over here? So he's not a master. Otherwise, slow down by loose debris. Ball trickles to the edge of the green. Difficult putt for par. And you see the symbol. And I think that's what this means. There's no explanation mark there, though. Yes, we could be using the pink ball. Why not, Robert Bryan? I like that. So it goes from a... Difficult putt for par to a double difficult putt for par. So Francesco Malinari in danger of bogeying the hole. He needs a one for the par. He's going to go black die. Come on, Francesco. He gets a five. So now the bogey attempt is going to be a difficult putt for bogey. One, two, three. And he bogeys the hole. So Malinari shoots a five. He's plus one. He, he missed the clutch putt. Was it no, it wasn't a clutch putt. I'm sorry. It was a yeah, no, nothing to do with clutch putts. So he we're not gonna mark anything there. So after one hole, Sergio Garcia is up. Garcia up. We move on to hole number two. Joining us here, we got Robert, Brian, Dan Burke, our good friend JD. Hope all is well, JD the Dragon. We're going to be doing a football show. And I got to hook up with JD in his Discord to talk about that. Uh, we have Michael Conestari, Arnold Hunter, Alan Barry, and our good friend OG Devin. So the second hole uh, looks like it's from Melbourne. Daunting, semi, uh, uh, challenging, semi daunting. Par 5, 590, course controls 2, 3, 4, and 5, so you need a 1, 6 to control here. We have some water hazards, and I look at that. It's blue. I love it. I love it. I love color. Robert Bryant says, I think you're right about the difficulty. Yeah, I think the um, – let me just show you here. Like, we've been playing the Masters a lot, and you see how it's a triangle, but it has the explanation point. This doesn't have the explanation point as I struck the camera with my hand because I'm fumble fingers. But it has a triangle, so I, we're going to say difficult putting if you're in the hazard or if it dictates that. All right, so Garcia, this is hole number two. It's a par five. Garcia looking for the one or the six. 
gets the six. Gets the six. Now we're gonna we're gonna play it properly because it's not the knockout tournament. I had some dude spaz out in the comments before. I was like, okay, whatever. All right, so do we want to attack the hold? I know it's challenging and daunting. I think Sergio. Do I want to attack the hole? I have to re-roll the white die, I believe. Not that it matters which freaking die. Well, yeah, it actually does because, eh, not really. All right, par five. It, we want a one or a two. Actually, you really want a one. He has a blue chip in hand. He's going to attack the hole. So we're going to roll, we re-roll the white die. He's going to attack the hole. Sergio's going to play a little aggressive here. He has a blue chip in hand. Can put pressure on Molinari. He's looking for that one. He gets a two. That's not horrible. That's not horrible. So he attacks the hole. It's a two. Reaches the outer green. Difficult putt for birdie. So a difficult putt for birdie is a one. He's going to use his blue chip. He's going to make it a moderate putt for birdie. I mean, that really isn't. I'll just cover that up. So a moderate putt for birdie is a one or a two. So Sergio Garcia is going to use the green die. He needs a one or two for the birdie. And he gets it. He sinks it with confidence. Wow. So Sergio Garcia attacks that hole. Good decision for Sergio. That's a four. And that's, he goes to minus one. So the pressure is on Francesco Malinari of Italy. The Spaniard Garcia parred the first hole. Birdies the second hole. And now what will Francesco Malinari do? Doug Hunt, how are you? Hope all is well. Malinari looking for the one or the six. He gets the six. He gets this. Did I do that? Did we roll six or one by accident? Well, we've already done it. Now I don't remember on the other. So he gets a six. Will Malinari attack the hole? Or do we want to play it safe, pick up that blue chip, par the hole, stay? Well, we're two back. Malinari's two back. He has no blue chip in hand. This could be a disaster if he attacks the hole. Difficult putt for birdie, moderate putt for par. Golfer check, see note above. And difficult putt for par. Molinari is going to play it safe. He's going to go for the gimme putt for par. A gimme putt for par, triple sixes. That's the only way you can miss it. So Molinari is going to play it safe. He pars the hole. He'll take his blue chip. So Molinari gets a five, but that this time that's good enough for par. He stays at plus one. And he uh, plays safe. Gets a blue chip. We move on to hole number three. Doug Hunt, since he's, Doug Hunt says he's doing well. Always love to hear that. Remember to check out uh, JD the Dragon our good friend JD's channel. If you like action, PlayStation action games, a lot of fun. He does very well talking with the chat. Our good friend JD, the Jagged. Rich, Richie L. 1991 is here. Good to see everybody. So hole number three is a par three, double cordial, 175. When I played golf, I dreaded par threes. I never knew how to hit the ball. I liked the farther holes because the one thing I could do when I was in shape was hit the ball far. Farther than guys bigger than me, it was pretty funny. But that's all I could do. Sometimes I didn't know where the ball was going, but <laughs> I could hit it far. All right, here's the par three. Garcia at minus one. Molinari at plus two. Double cordial hole. You don't want to. You don't want to roll a five here. Oh, JD, our good friend, the dragon, says thanks, Al. Right now, it's personal time. I'm playing 
The Witcher 3 on PS5. I picked up the PS5 for Nurse Teresa and Diablo 4. She's been playing that. Gary Sorrell, how you doing? Hope all is well, Gary. All right, Sergio Garcia wants to stay away from the white five. He, he So he'll, he's going to control. And now it's going to be a, you read these in highest to lowest. Well, that didn't make sense. I was dyslexic there. Lowest to highest, one, two, four. And it is a par three double cordial. Golfer controls the hole. I really hope they make a horse racing game with, with, with this type of um, setup. There's not a lot of... There are nooks and crannies, but not like baseball. And baseball is a fun game. We're going to be putting some of that up in the channel. I'm just trying to figure out the project. All right, so it's a par three, and we have a one, two, four. One, two, four. Is it a firm green? Doesn't say anything about a firm green. It says double cordial, so we move on. And seeing that we don't get that, we're going to go to Course cam green on the one, two, four. Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's good it wasn't a firm green or you'd go to that white flag, and that's usually not bueno. So we're going to go to course cam green, par three. And I think this is like, I don't know how many holes we'll play, but uh, it's good practice when we do our um, get back to our tournament with the all-time greats. I think I'm going to play either 9 or 18 holes to start off the Sweet 16. And this is good practice for me. I was playing some uh, Tiger Woods and Arnold Palmer. I was going to do this back nine at Augusta. They're not in the tournament. I was just practicing and having fun. But I said, oh, let's make a course. All right, so we're going golf cam green. And this is a par three. So now we look at the green four. All right. Par three, green four, friendly green. All right. Let's see here. Champion. Uh, does that does that matter though, or does it matter down here? Let's just read this. Champion or hero. And you get this, use a semi-friendly green. The green would be friendly because we rolled the dot. Is he and Sergio is a hero. And that's for um, but see, I don't think that's for that. I think that's if you hit right. So this doesn't come into play here. This does not come into play here. It would be if you were on the five. And it would have been anything with an asterisk. Okay, so that doesn't come into play. That does not come into play. So, again, we look at the four. Friendly green. No, it's not a friendly green. I think I'm playing that right. Clutch putt for, for birdie. Uh, so it's not a friendly green. Challenging green. No. Otherwise, unexpected break. Misses birdie putt. Oh, so Sergio Garcia misses the birdie putt. Clutch putt for par. So a clutch putt for par. And it's not a difficult hole. When it's putt for par. Sergio Garcia has a blue chip in hand. Blue chip. We don't get a blue chip. A clutch putt for par. Two, three. He's got a 50-50 shot on a six-sided dot, right? He's up two strokes. Now, if he misses his clutch putt for par, he gets a red chip taking away the blue chip. Sergio's a gambler. Sergio will go with the gray or silver dice. He needs a one, two, or three for par. And he gets it. Gets another blue chip. Oof. Sergio putting very well, putting the pressure on Malinari. So he pars the par three, stays at one under, makes a clutch putt it's another blue chip a lot of pressure on the italian francesco malinari come on francesco the original grognard says we should play together sometime absolutely og hey uncle dave gardner's here he says witcher three was awesome looking good al well thank you thank you Dave. how you doing dave 
So you had a spill on the ice on the uh, hockey. I know you didn't hit your head, but I'm glad you're – obviously we're glad you're okay. All right, come on, Francesco. Come on, Francesco. Come on, Francesco. Don't hit the five. Don't hit the five. Two. Francesco controls the hole. He has a one six six. Pick up some sticks. And the decider die. All right, one six six. He controls the hole on this par three. I don't know where. Is that Triton? I don't know where Triton is supposedly located. So we have a par three, a one six six. One six six. Is it direct? No. Otherwise, oh wow, if it was direct, it would have been a hole in one move. Otherwise, on the green, it might go in. Nice. All right, Francesco. We go to the pin chart. I love these little charts. This is awesome. So let's put the pin chart here. So Francesco Malinari, and we use this pin chart. Reroll white die. Could eagle. We already have the decider die. I'm not going to re-roll the decider die unless I absolutely have to. There's a couple of times you should re-roll the decider die. Like if you're semi, these guys aren't going to have to worry. But say if you're a semi-gold or semi-rust, you could re-roll or take. Uh, like if you're semi-gold, you can say, no, I don't want to re-roll. I'll take the one through four. Because if you miss, you'd be one through three. If you're semi-rust, you can say, no, I'd rather take the uh, one in, one or two. So I'm not re-rolling. I don't know if you're supposed to re-roll. I've re -roll, I've rolled the decider die already. So he has a chance for an eagle if we roll a one. Doesn't get a um oh wait. Decider die. Yes, so we got that. Can't get the hole in one, even though it says you have a chance to roll in. All right, so Tom, uh, this is huge for Francesco Malinari. He needs a low roll here. He gets a six. Ugh. As the crowd is yelling, stop, 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 stop. Rolls too far. Difficult putt for birdie. So Francesco Malinari does not catch the break. He rolls a six. Difficult putt for birdie. That's going to be a one. Again, I'm just going to cover up what's next to it. So he needs a one. So Malinari is going to go with the green die. This is for birdie to pick up a stroke here. Three. He misses it. So now it goes to a moderate putt for par, one through five. And he whew, he just makes it. Circles around, but plunks in. So Malinari pars the hole. He stays at plus one. We really didn't take advantage of uh, that that uh, pin chart. We move on to hole four. Garcia is still with a two-stroke lead and two blue chips in hand. Thomas Bartlett, how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. This is from uh, Wellwyn. Again, I don't know where, what they're supposed to represent. So this is a par 4, 395, semi-cordial. The decider die will tell us that. We have some special uh, notes here. If we hit the 5 and we use the little uh, course chart, course only controls on the white 5. So two really nice holes. And uh, let's see if either Garcia or Molinari can take advantage of this. Spain versus Italy. Franco versus Mussolini. Ba -bum -bum. Anyway. Four. Garcia will control, so it's golfer control. It's going to be a 2-5-6. No decider die, so it will not be a cordial hole. And a 2-5-6 on a par four. 395 for Sergio Garcia. Two, five, six, pick up some sticks. 
And that is a green six. I'm just doing this for my benefit so I can see. So we have a two, five, six. Two, five, six, legend. I believe Garcia, is he a legend? No, he is not. The decider die says no. Again, I'm not re-roll. It doesn't say to re-roll the decision. You roll and that's it. Some people, I guess, re-roll to see if he is, but I've already rolled. I'm not doing it. He is not a legend. All right, so it's two, five, six, not a legend. Shot bounces near the green, but not on. We go to the flag. We go to the flag. That's never good. So Sergio Garcia, we go to that white flag. Will this give Molinari an opening? All right, let's go to the white flag. Oh, interesting. We're going to use a different trait. And now we use the green result. So it's a six. Stone. I've never used it. Is he stone? No, he is not stone. Flawed shot. Misread green. Difficult putt for par. So Sergio Gar Garcia is going to have a difficult putt for par. And that's a one through three. He could lose a stroke here, but he's putting quite well. He is putting quite well. Sergio Garcia is going to go with a green die. Needs a one, two, three. And he misses. So Sergio Garcia will now go to a moderate putt for bogey, one through five. And he misses that. Sergio Garcia falling apart. Oh, too bad, Sergio. Now it's going to be an easy putt. Uh, an easy putt for bogey. The only way he misses is double sixes. Right. One through three, he missed. Then we rolled a six. He missed the bogey. He's double bogeying, excuse me. So now it's a uh, easy putt for double bogey. And he makes the double bogey with snake eyes. But that is horrible by Sergio Garcia on a fairly easy hole. That's where Sergio's erratic play comes into play. So he gets a six there. And he goes to even. Plus one, plus two. Yeah, he goes to even. An opening for French. Oh, shoot. Wait, I had blue chips. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He rolled like crap, right? So actually, he's only going to bogey the whole. Oh, you know what? We're redoing that. I forget the blue chips. Can't do that to Sergio. Can't do that. I get excited. All right. So let's do that over. He has blue chips in hand. He has blue chips in hand. And he's going to use the blue chips. That's my faux pas. Let's do this over. So it's the flag, right? It's a six. Difficult putt for par. All right. So he has a difficult putt for par. Is a one, two, or three. He's going to use... He's going to use his blue chip. I think he rolled a five, right? Well, we're just going to re-roll it out. He's going to use one blue chip to make a moderate putt for par. One through five. I hate when I do that. I for, I mean, the chip's right there. I put it right there. And I forget. Okay, one through five for the moderate par. And he makes it. Of course, now we roll the one. All right, so he pars the hole. You can't do that to Sergio. That's not right. All right, so he pars the hole. Still has a blue chip in hand. Stays at one under. And now Thomas Molinari's up. Dave Little has joined us. Hope all is well. Dave Little says Stone. It, yeah, too much time in the weeds. Good one. So Dr. David Little says Stone is a quality you get from spending too much time with the weeds. It is true. It is true. So we corrected our mistake there. I didn't want to lose a subscriber like my good friend Dave 
Gardner. I didn't want to lose him. All right, come on, Francesco Molinari. We're on the fourth hole here. Come on, Francesco. Stay away from that white five. And, of course, Francesco gets the white five. And it's going to be a 25 with a red five with a decider die. The good news, it's cordial. It is a cordial hole, 25. And now this. let's see if this note comes into play. And it, it's not going to because he is not a bomber just in case we hit the asterisk. So 25, no, it's going to be golf cam course, 25. Golf cam course and a cordial hole. So golf cam course. Francesco off to a rough start. Golf cam course. It's a par four. We rolled a green five. Daunting hole or scatter golfer. No. Longer than usual tee shot. Well played iron. Nice opportunity for clutch birdie. Yes. Yes. A clutch birdie for Francesco Malinari. And so he's neutral. One, two, or three. Come on, Francesco Malinari. He's going to go green die. One, two, three. Unbelievable. Francesco misses the clutch putt for birdie, which means he gets the wonderful red chip. So if you miss a clutch putt for birdie, it becomes an Easy putt for par. So now Molinari, disgusted with himself, as he should be, can only miss with a double six. He makes the par to stay one under, but missed the clutch putt. We move on to hole five. Garcia with a blue chip. Malinari with a red chip. Garcia with a two-stroke lead. Dave Little says, went to the Reds Brewers game today. Got to watch Ellie... De La Cruz steals second, third, and home in the same inning. Okay, trivia question. Trivia question. What New York met when we were playing the 1946 Red Sox against the 1986 Mets did the same exact thing, playing Stratomatic card and dice? That's pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that, Dave Little. The OG, the original Grognard, and the holes in courses, course set 20 are not real holes. They are archetypes of holes for each par, for each terrain type. Cool. Dave Gardner says, I'm watching this on my big screen TV, so it makes the mistakes look even much larger. Absolutely. That's the way we roll, Uncle Dave. All right, so we are now on the fifth hole, par three, challenging, semi-challenging, cordial. Course control is four and five. We have some special notes here that if we roll them, we have to decide if we're going to play it safe or go. Um, I guess you have to decide that now. Let me just look at the notes. Safe. Chip in near flag. Easy putt for par. Go for it. Moderate putt for birdie. But I think you have to have the decider die. So here's what we're going to do with that. If we hit a question mark, and you go for it, we will re-roll the decider die for that. I don't know if you're supposed to say it before, like now or whatever, but we're not going to do that. We'll decide uh, if they want to go for it. And then we'll, we will re-roll, because to go for it, you need the decider die. If you get the decider die, it's a moderate putt for birdie. 
Otherwise, you're in the water. Ouch. Oof. So you're going to lose a stroke there. They'll probably play it safe. It's too soon to take chances. Here is Sergio Garcia. All right, the original Grogan says, you have to decide if you're going to go before you roll. Okay, they're going to both play it safe. They're going to both play it safe. It's early. They're both playing it safe. Here's Sergio Garcia. And of course, he gets the dot. It's a five. Course control. 34. Would he have the question? He had the question mark. Son of a gun. But he's going to play it safe. Chips, chip to near flag, easy putt for par. So it's going to be an easy putt for par as he plays it safe. So an easy putt for par is the only way you miss is double sixes. Garcia, oh, five, six, holy cow. As he just has a wry smile on his face as that almost lipped out. But the dice god says no, and it hits the bottom of the cup. So Sergio Garcia on this par three, pars the hole, stays at minus one. He played it safe. Malinari has a red chip. He's also going to play it safe. Wants to stay away from the four five. He gets the four, and of course he gets the dot. It's going to be a 33. 33 would have been a question mark, but he's playing it safe. And again, he's going to have a nice chip to near flag, easy putt for par. You only miss with a double six. He sinks the par putt. So Malinari sinks the par putt, waiting for an opportunity. He had that opportunity, uh, but he missed that clutch putt for birdie. So he stays at plus one. We move on to hole six. It's a par four, 430. Semi daunting. Two, three, four, five controls the hole. You need a one or six for golf to control. Before T, choose whether to play. Oh, it says it right there. Stupid Al. Before, and thank you for original Grognard pointing that out. Before T, choose whether to play it safe or go for it. Well, you know we hit the decider die for both golfers, right? You know we're not doing that again. We're going to play it safe. We're going to play it safe if we hit the question mark. And again, it'll be a, oh, but this is this is pretty good. Well, it's still par. They're both going to play it safe. Garcia's up. <laughs> he gets the, wouldn't have mattered because he controls the hole. And it's going to be a one- Four six for Sergio Garcia. He'll have his semi trait, so it'll be legend and bomber. It is a par four, and it will be a daunting hole. So a par four. Sergio Garcia controls. It is a daunting hole. It's a one four six. One four six. Legend or dynamic. Sergio Garcia is a legend. The decider die says so. True from the T. Oh, he's going to get another blue chip. He's going to get another blue chip with the black star. Gallery cheers. He gets a blue chip. Sergio killing it with the blue chips. Now we have to remember to use them for Sergio. Um, so gallery cheers. Award, blue chip, use green, die result, it's a six. Is Sergio Garcia a hacker? Sergio is not a hacker. Accurate shot, lands on the green, but gets a regrettable roll. Difficult putt for birdie. Well, so Sergio Garcia has a difficult putt for birdie. He's going to use both blue chips. 
He's going to make it a one through four. You got a birdie opportunity. You got to go for it. He only misses on a five and six. And he misses. Oh, Sergio Garcia's hot putting has cooled off tremendously. As Doug Hunt says, go Sergio. So he misses the birdie putt. He'll now have an easy putt for par. And he gets it. No double six as Sergio missed an opportunity there. So he pars that hole. Sergio stays at minus one. He used two blue chips. You got to go for the birdies, in my opinion. Here's Francesco Molinari, red chip. If he gets a blue chip, it neutralizes the red chip. Um, you can use the red chip and turn it to the course. He's not going to do that yet. You got to get rid of the red chip before 18 holes are done or you add a stroke. I believe that's the way you play that. Doug Hunt says, yikes. That was a yikes. He was... I was rolling hot for putts earlier for Sergio. Here's Francesco Molinari looking for the one or the six. He gets the one. He gets the one. Golfer controls. It's going to be a two, three, five. It will not be a daunting hole. No decider die. But Sergio um, Francesco will not be a king or champion. He doesn't get the decider die roll there. So this is a par four, four, five. 30 and it's a two three five two three five legend or shaper he is a shaper well placed he's gonna get a blue chip as the gallery cheers so that wipes out his red chip all right so the gallery cheers it's well placed We re-roll the green die. Oh, no, we use the green die. I'm sorry. We use the green die. It's a five. Is Malinari a hacker? Malinari is not a hacker. Nice shot. Hits the green in regulation. Moderate putt for birdie. He can pick up a stroke here. He has a moderate putt for birdie. No blue chip because the uh, blue chip nullifies the red chip. He needs a one or two for a birdie. Let's go black die for... Francesco Malinari. Malinari misses horribly. He now goes to a easy putt for par. You only miss with double sixes, and he makes another par. So Malinari lets an opportunity go by. Stays at plus one. We move on to hole number seven. Appa Chatter, how you doing? Congrats on your, what's it, 200 subs, my friend? I think it was 200, and he's having a giveaway. So please check out, he did a video. I saw that pop up. I have to go by and like it and listen to it. So congrats to Appa Chatter. Please subscribe to his channel, along with the original Grognard has a fun channel, and also check out his Facebook group page. Um, Dave Gardner, Dave Little, and many other fine content creators in our community, J.D., if you want your PlayStation action games, that's a lot of fun. Does a wonderful job with the chat. And, uh, Richie L has a channel, Richie L 1991. So. All right. We now move on to hole number seven. Did I already flip? Yes, to par three. Oh, wow. Direct. You got a chance for a hole in one here. Friendly, double cordial. Only a five. Only a five. The course controls. Sergio Garcia's up. He used two blue chips to try to get a birdie, and he missed. So this is a par three. Let's go to the par three. Get that ready just in case. I mean, the golfer should control, but the way I roll, you never know. Here we go. Sergio wants to stay away from the white five. He gets a, He's going to control. Um, it's going to be a two, two, six. He'll have his decider die. So all of his semi traits. And it's a two, two, six. And it's a par three. Two, two, six. 
two, oh, that's two, two, six. Is Sergio a champion? No, he is not. So Sergio is not a champion. It's going to go to the mood chart. We're not, and that's really for tournaments. So it's, you hope that it says, is he stormy? And you say, no. If it says, as if he's like, he's happy, you say, no. That's the way I play that. I guess, or we could roll the decider die. Uh, you know what? Let's roll the decider die. We'll let the decider die decide. So we go to the mood chart and make sure again, 226. Champion. Nope. Mood chart. And we will re-roll the decider die to see if he's stormy or the other, or happy. It's not happy. I can't remember what it is. Maybe it is happy. I don't remember. Mood chart. Okay. This is a par three. Uh, we re-use the green die result. Don't re-roll. Okay. We, we're going to re-roll the decider die, though. So it's a two. It's sunny. Okay, is he sunny? Let's find out if he's sunny. Or is he share? He is not sunny. I guess that's an easy way to decide that. Would have had a gimme putt for birdie. Otherwise, played it, played to safe side a green, difficult putt for birdie. So Sergio will have a difficult putt for birdie. He needs a one here. He doesn't get it. He misses his birdie putt. So now he will have a moderate putt for par, one through five. And he makes that. So Sergio Garcia pars the par three, stays at minus one. Francesco Molinari now up hole seven. He's plus one. He's two back of Sergio, the Spaniard. Three, Francesco controls the hole. Four is across the board. Oh, boy, I think this is something wacky when you get all the same number. Four is across the board. This is a par three. Special result. Okay, that's in back. A special result. I think that's right at the back. Yes. Okay. So special result, level two, par three. No, we need to be at level one. Level one. I think that's where you start. Level it makes sense. Level one, par three. Reroll any two dice. Read in ascending order. All right. Let's do these. Thirty-six for Francesco Malinari. Thirty-six. T to the edge of the green, difficult putt for birdie, gold putting rest of the round if made. Wow. So if he makes this putt, he will be a gold putter. That is cool. And if you're playing a tournament, it looks like gold till further notice if golfer wins the event. Oh, if golfer wins the event. So... 36, teed to the edge of the green in this par three. Difficult putt for birdie. If he makes a difficult putt for birdie, he's got to roll a one. He is gold putter for the rest of this uh, engagement with Sergio Garcia. We're going to go silver gray die. So Molinari for the birdie. Oh, he misses miserably. He now has a one through five chance for the moderate par, and he misses the par. Unbelievable. He's going to bogey the hole. Don't roll double sixes. Molinari putting like poop. And he rolls double fours, but it's good enough for bogey. Molinari now goes to plus two. Ouch. Garcia three up on the Italian and the Spaniard smirking at Francesco Molinari. We now move to hole number eight. It's a par five, 515, semi-friendly, double cordial. So again, an opportunity for both golfers here. Yeah, the special event chart's pretty fun. Bernard Strom, Sports Replays, joined us. Hope all is well. 
as he just finished watching the Ennis fight. Excellent. All right, here we go. Sergio Garcia again. Golfer controls with every white die roll except a five. Garcia will control. And that means it's going to be a three, four, six. Pick up some sticks. Decider die says it's not a friendly hole. And no semi trades. So it's a par five, three, four, six for Sergio Garcia. Par five. Par five. What did I say? Three, four, six. Uh, over there. Three, four, six. Par five. Three, four, six. Firm green. Oh, we got to start here. I'm sorry. Three, four, six. Is Sergio Garcia a bomber? The... He's a semi-bomber. The decider die says no. So now we move on. So that's off the tee. We move on to the iron shot. Is he utility? No, he's not utility. Firm green, no. It's going to be golf cam green. So we go to golf cam green. Golf cam green. This is a par five. He has a green six. Friendly green. No, it's not. That sucks. Is he a laser golfer? No, he's not. Okay. Move on. Problems on their approach. On in four. Clutch putt for par. So one, two, or three. Sergio Garcia makes the clutch putt for par. And he misses. So Sergio Garcia really pooping himself with the putter right now, and that will make it an easy. Clutch putt for par. So if you miss, if you miss a clutch putt for par, the gimme, it's a gimme putt for bogey. So that means you, you only miss with triple sixes. And he makes the bogey, taps in for the bogey putt. So Sergio Garcia is going to go to even. Gets a six on a par five that he should have done much better with. And Sergio Garcia goes to even. Francesco Malinari, two back, as he's plus two. Malinari's got to make a move here. Oh, and that was a clutch putt, right? So he gets a red chip. He missed. The clutch putt, he gets a red chip. Malinari's up now. Come on, Francesco Malinari. Roll something beautiful. It's a two. And it will be a friendly hole. The decider die says so. Malinari will have will have all his semi-trades. So it's going to be a 2-3-3. Two, three, three. What will it be? We shall see on the 2-3-3. Two, 2-3-3. Three, three. Two, three, three. Par five. And it's a two, three, three. Two, three, three. Is Molinari a king? Yes, he is. Oh, yes. Classic swing, beautiful drive. It is the clear star, so he's going to get a blue chip. We go to the clear star. Went the wrong way. So, clear start, gallery cheers. Malinari gets a blue chip. He needs to pick up a stroke here. And it is a green three. Award a blue chip. Use the green die result. Hero or champion? Malinari is a hero and a champion. Possible eagle putt. Oh, do we go for it? Possible eagle. Okay, go for it. Oh, there's a chart for that. Do we go for it? Possible eagle putt or safe approach for birdie? 
All right, we go to the go for it chart. That is right here. Yes, I had this in um, Palmer and Woods. What a wild front nine that was. Tiger Woods was ahead. He double bogeyed three times. No, he double bogeyed twice and bogeyed once. And so after nine holes there between him and Arnold Palmer, they're both plus one at Augusta. All right, so now we go to the go for it chart. And that means you, wow, I can't read that. Hold on. Reroll white die to determine, to determine result if we want to go for it. Moderate, but yeah, well, I, I think we're going to go for it. Easy putt for birdie. Easy putt for birdie. You know what? Maybe, maybe we're not going to go for it. There's a lot of easy putts for birdie if we just play it safe. Probably should have said that before, but, you know, got to make a decision here. Double difficult putt for bird. We're going to play it safe. We're not going to go for it. Uh, okay. We're going to re-roll the white die. It's a three. Yeah, would have been an easy putt for birdie anyway if we went for it. Uh, lofted on the green. Great roll. Easy putt for birdie. So Francesco Molinari trying to mount a comeback here. He has an easy putt for birdie. That's one through four. He's going to take the gimme putt for birdie. He's going to use his blue chip. He only misses with a double six. Oh, my God. Look at this. <laughs> he almost misses, but he finally birdies a hole. Oh, Francesco Molinari kind of shaking his head, but it does go kerplunk into the bottom of the cup. So on this par five, Molinari gets a four this time. That's going to... Bring him to minus, uh, plus one. He's only one back of Sergio Garcia. We're going to finish off the front nine. Garcia with a red chip. I'm going to take a swig of water. And I'd like to thank the original Grognard, Bernard Strom Sports Replays, Appa Chatter, and again, congratulations for your 200th sub, Doug Hunt. Dave Gardner, David Little, check out those wonderful channels. Of course, check out the original Grognards channel and Facebook group, Digital Dice with Uncle Dave Gardner and Uncle Ron Juckett. Robert Bryant, JD the Dragon, check out his wonderful channel for PlayStation action games and fun. Thomas Bartlett, Gary Sorrell, Dan Burke, RJL, uh, I'm sorry, Richie L. 1991. Michael Canastari, Arnold Hunter, Alan Barry. All right. Maybe have a swig of water. And you guys tell me if you want me to continue on after the ninth hole. I shut the air conditioning off because it does hum in the background. It's not as hot today. Um, well, I mean, it's still muggy, but. So I shut it off. Yesterday I couldn't shut it off. And uh, I couldn't, I, I, Dave Gardner sent me a link to watch a video, but that works with OBS. And when I stream this way, um, I use direct streaming through YouTube. So I don't think that that software is going to help me. I couldn't get it to work with the YouTube. So I shut the air off. All right. So this is, ooh, this is, yeah, the AC has an off button, unfortunately. But you're down in Florida, my friend. I believe, right, Appachatter? You're more down south than we are, that's for sure. Um, Tennessee, sorry about that. I I wish I had a curling game. I would play it. I love curling. One of my favorite winter sports. All right, so this is a tough hole to end the front nine. Zappa Chatter says, about five miles north of Georgia. Um, yeah, but I run it through YouTube, Uncle Dave. So I got to figure it out. 
I could, that's what took me long with starting my uh, stream. I just screw it. I'll shut the air conditioning off. But it's getting hot in here now. It might go on soon. <laughs> Downies has a curling game. Cool. Yeah, check that out. Those are quick play, right? All right. Oh, Diablo. One, two, three, four, five course controls. Only a six, the golfer controls. Challenging, semi-daunting. And if you're in the hazards, bad putting. If you come out of the hazards. Garcia's up. He's got a red chip. He gets a one. Course still controls, though. It's going to be a 16 with a green four. And it will not be a daunting hole. It'll, it will only be challenging. Neither golfer is gold or rust when it comes to punt it, put, putting. So that's not going to come into play with the asterisk. But it's a 16. Sergio puts his first shot off the tee in the sand. So Sergio finds the sand off the tee. He's falling apart a bit, giving Molinari a chance to get back in it. Sergio is putting hot. But since his putting has gone south... So has his tee shot now. So first shot in the sand. First shot, <clears throat> excuse me, in the sand. All right. This is a par four. <clears throat> and we rolled a green three. <clears throat> so first shot in the sand, and we rolled a four. Chunky. No. Move on. Effortlessly out of the bunker to the edge of the green. Birdie putt goes long, leaving moderate second putt for par. But, oh, and it has it. So it goes from a moderate putt for par, which would have been one through five, to a difficult putt for par, one, two, and three. So a difficult putt for par. As Robert Bryan says, hit it out, and Sergio did. One, two, or three for Sergio Garcia, or is he going to bogey the hole again? And he's going to go white die here. He's a one, two, three. <laughs> and he misses. It's going to be a... a Moderate putt for bogey now, and he just makes that. So Garcia bogeys back-to-back -back holes. He's going to be plus one going to the back nine. <clears throat> so Garcia has shot a 36, and it'll be a plus one. Going to the back. This leaves an opportunity for, for, and he still has a red chip. That wasn't a clutch putt, was it? No, no nothing to do with a clutch putt. Okay. Now here's Francesco Molinari. Molinari has an opening here. Take care, JD. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be talking to you soon. Football season does approach, so we'll get that set up. We're going to try to do that weekly. Myself and JD. Talking some football. Maybe we'll add uh, the OG. The OG likes football. So we'll find out. <clears throat> so Francesco Molinari is now even with Sergio Garcia, who has really fallen off after doing quite well. Uh, bogeyed the eighth, and now bogeys the ninth. So here's Francesco Molinari. He'd love to get a white six. He doesn't. Course controls. That's a 24 for Francesco Molinari. And it will be a daunting hole. It's challenging and daunting, the decider die. But Molinari will be a king and champion. So it's a 24. And Molinari, on his second shot, finds the sand. There's an asterisk there. It says 
gold or rust golfers use <clears throat> that's going to be uh, that would be course cam green but both golfers are neutral so he's going to take his second shot from the sand so Molinari can't take advantage of the mishap by Sergio Garcia and we're look we're at the sand anyway but this will be a second shot with a green four. And that's going to make the putting more difficult. That's a green four. Chunky, no. Let's make sure, no. Clean escape from the trap to the green. Moderate putt for par. A moderate putt for par because it's a difficult putting hole, and he went into the hazard. So a moderate putt for par would be one through five. It now becomes a difficult putt for par. One, two, three. Francesco Molinari, he misses. Unbelievable. The putting has been god-awful for both of them. It now goes to a moderate putt for bogey, and he makes that. So Francesco Molinari cannot take advantage as both Molinari and Garcia bogey the hole. Molinari is plus two now. He'll go to the back nine with a 37. Ouch. So I will let the gallery decide, do we move on to the back nine? We have to have a few people. I think someone already said, uh, I think Apachatus is make the turn. But let's see, do you want to move on to the back nine? Odds are the AC is going on, so you're going to hear some humming in the background. <laughs> we'll see how much longer we go without air conditioning as I strip down. Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Robert Bryant says go for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to play a few more holes. This is very fun. I like this game. And, again, this is my practice for when we do our Sweet 16 for all-time golfers. I think we'll do nine for the first – for the Sweet 16 – I'm debating between nine and th I was thinking like three holes for the Sweet 16, nine for the Elite Eight. But I don't know. I don't know. Make the turn. Doug Hunt says make the turn. We got three people say make the turn. We're going to make the turn. I'm going to sweat my uh, coyonis off, but that's okay. So Garcia's up. We now go to the 10th. Going in again, Garcia's one over. Malinari's two over. Garcia's 36. Malinari's a 37. This is hole number 10, par four, 310 yards, direct double cordial. The course only controls on a white five. It is a three. I didn't put it on yet, the AC. <laughs> So it's going to be a three, four, five, and the decider dies. So it's well that. So Garcia is going to be legend bomber. So those are all good traits. We'll just leave that there. All right. So it's a par four, three, four, five. Garcia controls the hole. Let's find the three, four, five first. Three, four, five. Oh, wow. That's bad. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, there's nothing. Ouch. That stinks. Sergio really falling apart here. So a three, four, five is not a good roll. Push shot drifts towards rough. He's going to get, I th with that symbol, I believe he gets a second red chip. So Sergio Garcia falling apart, and it started on hole number eight. It continues through nine and now ten. 
Gallery groans. He gets a second red chip. Oh, boy. Second red chip for Sergio. And now that's going to be a... We look at the green five. Is Sergio Workman? No, he's not. Big swing sends the ball to apron. Follow-up chip shot to green. Difficult putt for par. So he's going to have a difficult putt for par. No blue chips in hand. A difficult putt for par is one, two, or three. And he makes it. So Sergio saves par. He scrambles to save par. And he's going to stay at plus one. So here's Francesco Malinari. Malinari has an opportunity once again. He's at plus two. And Francesco Malinari will control the hole. He gets a two, three, three. What will it be? We shall see. The decider dice says for Francesco. Oh, it doesn't matter there. Francesco will not be king or champion, though. He doesn't get those semi trades. All right, so this is a 2-3-3. King, no, that's a semi-trait. On target, but lands just short of the green. We go to the flag. Oh, no, on the 2-3-3. Go to the flag. Use green die result is a three. Soft. No. Well-placed pitch rolls within two feet of the pin. Easy putt for par. So he's going to have an easy putt for par. So that, didn't, that wasn't horrible. Easy putt for par. You only miss with double sixes. He makes it with a, a 35. Or, you know, he doesn't get the double sixes. So, par is the hole. Really needed to do more damage there. He needed to do something. He's still at plus two. We move on to hole number 11. Garcia has two red chips in hand. He has to get rid of those at some point. We're hoping that he gets some blue chips. As Doug Hunt says, ouch for Sergio. So Sergio's up, still with a stroke lead. He's a plus one. Molinari's a plus two. Spain versus Italia. Here's Sergio Garcia. This is a par four, 405 in yardage. Um, again, this is a hole that the course only controls with the five. It is semi-friendly and cordial. Garcia trying to get uh, back on track, and this is a good hole to do that. He gets a two, and it's going to be a three, four, six. Pick up some sticks. The decider die says it's a friendly hole on top of cordial, and he's legend, king, bomber, hero, icon. So things looking good for Sergio Garcia to turn that corner and get back on track. This is a par four. And this is the course creator uh, toolbox. All right, so what do we say? It's a three, four, six. Pick up some sticks. Three, four, six. Is he a bomber? Yes, he is. The decider die says he's a bomber, and he got a hold of that one, so he's going to get a blue chip, which nullifies one red chip. That's what we're hoping for. And so, again, that was a three, four, six. And is he dynamic? Yeah, it didn't matter anyway. It, he, bomber or dynamic. So we go to the Black Star. To me, this game, this is the easiest play game for me. And again, I don't play it exactly right. I think I'm playing it pretty close today, though. <laughs> All right, so the gallery cheers. We took away one red chip, and it is a green four. Utility. He is not utility. Routine iron shot, energized by beneficial roll. Moderate putt for birdie. A moderate putt for birdie is a one or a two. Sergio 
will roll. And he makes it. So Sergio Garcia gets back on track. And he, Sergio needed that. So that's a three. He's back at even. Malinari, two back. Malinari has to do something big. Come on, Francesco Malinari. Francesco with a four-hill control. And it's going to be a 2-3-5. Don't get poked in your eye. The decider die, he's going to be king, champion, along with legend, shaper, hero, and an icon. Friendly hole. 2-3-5. Malinari. Down two strokes. We're on the 11th. As we flip the handy-dandy book. So it's a 2-3-5. Don't get poked in the eye. Two, three, five. Legend or Shaper? Yes. Well placed. He's going to get a blue chip. So Francesco Malinari, his brother's a golfer too. I keep wanting to call him Thomas. And make sure I saw that right. Two, three, five. Legend or Shaper? Well placed shot. The gallery cheers for Francesco Malinari. And it's a green three. Hero or champion? Yes, he is. He's both because of the he's always a hero and he's a semi-champion. The decider die says he is champion. Strong shot drops within three feet of the pin. Easy putt for Birdie. Oh Nelly. Francesco Malinari gets an easy putt for Birdie. He's gonna use the blue chip and make it a gimme putt for Birdie. He only misses. With a 66, but the way he's been rolling, he gets it. He struck it with confidence. So Francesco Malinari is in on three. He's now plus one, only one back. Francesco is only one back of Sergio Garcia, who still has a red chip in hand. Both Garcia and Malinari birdie a very Likeable par four. We move on to hole number 12. And this is a par three. Semi-daunting. We have some special notes here. We'll, uh, windy result. Decide or die. Windy result. Well, I think that's a weather thing, so I don't think we need that. I didn't roll for weather. Decide or die. Plank use. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's windy. Okay. If the decider die is blank. All right, we'll cross that bridge if we get to it. I don't know if that matters. I don't do a weather check. I have enough fun without doing a weather check. Um... So semi-daunting. And here's Sergio Garcia. Course controls four and five. This is a par three. We got some water here. If I was actually playing this hole, I would find the water on my shot. Here's Sergio. He has a two. So Sergio controls the hole. So we don't have to worry about this. And that's going to be a three, three, four. Three, three, four with the decider die. For Sergio Garcia. 3-3-4, three, three, par 3. Sergio Garcia getting back in a rhythm, possibly. After a horrific end to his front nine on holes 8 and 9. Chris Anderson's joined us. He loves golf. He loves golf so much. How are you doing, Chris? Hope mom and dad are doing well. See you at work on Monday. I have not hit the lottery, unfortunately, and I'll be back. 3-3-4, three, three, par 3 for Sergio Garcia. Is Sergio a champion? No, he is not. He is not a champion. We go to um, Course Cam Green. Had he been a champion, it would have been an easy putt for Birdie. 
but he is not a champion. So we go course cam green par three. Course cam green par three. Yep, Chris, I got to come back to work. Course cam green par three. It is a green three. Challenging green, no. Well-held shot leaves excellent opportunity. Clutch putt for birdie. So Sergio Garcia is neutral. Now, if he had a blue chip, he could make himself gold. That's correct, right, OG? Our good friend Devin, the original Grognard, but he's neutral. If he makes this clutch putt, we can get rid of this red chip. One, two, or three for birdie. Again, let's make sure we saw that right. It's a par three. He rolled a green three. It's not a challenging green. So it says, otherwise, well-held shot leaves excellent opportunity. Clutch putt for bird. Okay, clutch putt for birdie. Chris says, yeah, that's right. You did play on a travel wiffle ball team. Chris is a good athlete. He's an umpire now in baseball. People yell at him. So a clutch putt for birdie, one, two, or three. He's going to go with the black die. And he makes it. So Sergio Garcia gets rid of another red chip. He has birdied back-to-back -back holes. That's a two on this par three. He is now one under. So Sergio is one under. Malinari now. We'll tee off at the 12th. Francesco Malinari. As Chris says, got yelled at today with a smiley face. Called strike three to end the game. He was not happy. The heck with him, Chris. It was strike three. All right, here comes Francesco Malinari. Stay away from the 4-5, Francesco. He does. And he has a good roll here. That's going to be a 1-4-5. One, Ones are usually good. So a 1-4-5 for Francesco Molinari on this par 3. Birdied hole 11. Can he birdie hole 12? And the hole is daunting if that comes into play. 1-4-5. Don't get poked in the eye. Is he a hacker? Molinari is not a hacker. We go to the mood chart, and we will re-roll the decider die to see if he is uh, sunny or stormy or something like that. So the mood chart. All right, experience. I think it's before the experience chart. Bear with me a moment. Nope, those are the hazards, so it's after the now chart. Right now, right here. All right, we got the mood chart. He rolled a green five. It's a par three. Is he stormy? Is he stormy? Boy, he doesn't want to be stormy. He wants a uh, blank... He is stormy. Ugh. So he is stormy. Sour shot from fairway. Double difficult putt for par. Double difficult putt for par. That's a one. He needs the one. He misses. He now has a difficult putt for bogey. And he gets the difficult putt for bogey. So Molinari will drop two back once again. His putting has been poor to say the least. He's three behind Sergio Garcia as we go to the 13th. The Spaniard... Picking up uh, where he was, uh, how he was playing earlier, seemed to have rebound 
quite well after the disaster of holes eight and nine. So Garcia's up, neither golfer with a blue chip or a red chip, as D. Scott Howard says, that was a foot outside. As Chris Anderson says, he's here for my singing. Thank you. This is a par 5, 540, friendly cordial. And Molinari is going to go for it. Molinari is going to go for it. Sergio Garcia will play safe. So this is Sergio playing safe. Of course, Sergio gets the dot, uh, but he gets a six. So now Sergio, he has a three-stroke lead. He's going to play it safe. He'll take a blue chip. He's going to, because we would have to re-roll the white die. He's not going to do that. He will take the blue chip, but we have to make the gimme putt for par. He makes the gimme putt for par. That's the wise play by Sergio. And he stays at one under. Molinari's up. Molinari, if he lands on the course, he's going for it. Three. Don't have to worry about that. It doesn't land on the course. It is going to be, he has no traits, uh, semi-traits, because he didn't get the decider die. It's going to be a 1-1-5. One, one, Ooh. Let's see if Molinari can do some damage here with a 1-1-5 one, one, on this par 5. Take care, Appa Chatter. Thank you very much, my friend. And again, congrats on 200 subs. Par five, Molinari, three back, trying to gain some ground here. All right, he's got a 1-1-5, one, 1-1-5, one, five. One, one, five, Yeoman and Scatter, no. Is he a champion? The decider die says no. 1-1-5, one, one, is he stormy? I guess we got to roll the decider die again. I mean, he was stormy before, but we're just going to let the decider die do that. Because that's how we did. We've been, we've decided to play it that way. All right. So let's see if he's stormy. Yes, he is stormy. Unbelievable. So Francesco Molinari stormy. Misses green, tosses club. Oh boy. Oh boy. We go to the clear flag. Francesco Molinari showing an Italian temper there. And it's a five. Soft. No. Solid execution, but unexpected roll. Moderate putt for par. So a moderate putt for par for Francesco Molinari in a hole that he was really hoping to birdie and pick up a stroke. So a moderate putt for par is one through five. Let's make sure I'm looking at that right. One through five for Molinari, and he just makes it. Oof. He stays at two over, still three back. As we head to the 14th, Sergio Garcia, three up on the Italian as... Spanish flags are waving here. The 14th. Par 4, 400 yards. Semi-friendly double cordial. Again, come up on some easy holes here. Course only controls out of 5. Sergio Garcia controls. And that is going to be a 4-6-6. Pick up some sticks. It will be a friendly hole. And Garcia will have his semi traits. So this is a par four. And he has a blue chip in hand. Four, six, six. Pick up some sticks. So a four, six, six. Is Garcia a shaper? No, he is not. You can see he's not a shaper. That falls under woods. 
All right, so 466. Oh, wait a second. I looked at the... No, 466, right? Yeah. Shaper, no. Is he hot? Okay. He's he hot. No, you'd have to birdie two holes consecutively, right? You'd have to birdie two holes consecutively. I think he has birdied a hole and parred a hole. So he's not hot. I think you have to birdie two holes consecutively to be hot. So he's not hot. We go to the experience chart. Let's just quickly look. I'm pretty sure you have to birdie two holes in a row or better. As Robert Bryant says, correct. Okay. Yay. I remember the rules. That will make some people extremely happy who said I don't read the rules. I should read the book, which I did. I did. All right. So we go to the mood chart. No, the experience chart. And he is an icon. So the experience chart, we flip towards the back. And we look. This is a par four. He rolled a green six. Icon. Yes, Sergio Garcia is an icon. On the green in regulation, despite less than stellar approach, moderate putt for birdie. He's really putting that pressure on. Francesco Molinari, a moderate putt for birdie is a one or two. And Sergio Garcia misses. He'll now have a gimme, an easy, I'm sorry, an easy putt for par. You only miss on double sixes, and he makes the par putt. So Garcia doesn't get the birdie, does make the par. He's still minus one through 14. Molinari, three back at plus two. Oh, shoot. I did it again. I did it again. Moderate putt. He has a blue chip. So moderate putt for birdie. He'll use his blue chip. We're going to do that over. So now he'll go to an easy putt for birdie, one through four. One through four. And I think he actually did roll a four. So he would have made it, but we're going to re-roll. And he misses. Oh, he missed. We're just going to give him the par putt. I, I, he's got it. All right. But I was just, I, I got to, I, I have a bad habit of not using blue chips for golfers. So after doing the white out, he still makes the par putt, still minus one. That's funny. All right. I got to remember. I put it right there so I don't forget. And I forget. So Molinari's up now. All right, Francesco gets a four. He controls the hole. It's a two, two, four. Shut the door. No decider die, so it's not friendly. And Francesco is not a king or champion. Par four, two, two, four. Two, two, four. King or bomber. Yeah, the decider die says no. He really needed that. Champion. Nope, he needed the decider die. Goes to the experience chart. We were just there. And he, too, is an icon. He needed that decider die in the worst way. We have a green two once we get to the experience chart. Here it is. Experience chart, par four, green two. Icon, yes. He made a similar shot last week. Amazing. Gimme putt for birdie. What a shot by Francesco Molinari. He now has a gimme putt for birdie. That's You only miss with a double six. Don't roll a double six, Francesco Molinari. He doesn't. He strikes that one with confidence. So Molinari is in on three. He's now plus one, two back. As we head to hole 15, Molinari, two back of the Spaniard, Sergio Garcia. 
as I hit the camera with my hand. Hole 15 is a par 5, 535 friendly double cordial. So this is pretty good. Can Garcia do some damage here? Stay away from the white 5. Okay, now. He's two up. He's two up. He's gonna take the he's gonna play it safe. He's gonna take the blue chip. As long as we make the uh easy putt. Is it easy or gimme? Let me look. I think it's easy putt for par. Because we have those last two holes are really difficult. The last two holes are very difficult. So it's a par five. Well, I can just look at any of them. Play it safe. Gimme putt for par. Okay, it's a gimme. You have to roll triple sixes to miss. He does not. He gets a gimme putt for par. Has a blue chip. Stays at one under. He's still two ahead of Francesco Molinari. And now has a blue chip in hand. Here's Molinari. Molinari rolls a, a white three. He's in control. The whole doesn't matter. It's still friendly double cordial. He will not have any of his semi traits. The decider die says no. It's a two three six. Pick up some sticks for Francesco Molinari. Par five. Two three six. Let's find it before we put it on camera. Two three six. Is he a duffer? No, it's not a duffer. You can see that. Two, three, wait a second, two, three, six. Yeah, Duffer, no, move on. Direct green, no. Oops, two, three, six. Fades too far, lands 10 feet from the green. We go to the clear flag. Molinari just cannot take advantage on holes he needs to take advantage of. All right. So we go to the clear flag, and he rolled a green three. Soft. No. Well-placed pitch rolls within two feet of the pin. Easy putt for par. So he has an easy putt for par. You only miss with double sixes. He does not miss. So Molinari makes the par. He's still two back. So both Molinari... And Sergio Garcia, par the hole. The difference is Sergio rolled that white uh, white six, played it safe, got a blue chip. We now move on to the 16th. And you can see this is a tough hole. You need to roll a six here to control. Tough putting if you're in, the, in any type of hazard. And Sergio has a blue chip in hand. Sergio Garcia does not roll the white six, so it's going to be a 23 with a green six and the decider die. So it's challenging and daunting. 23. First shot off the tee on the par three, the 230-yard par three, is in the rough. So the putting will be more difficult. So Garcia's in the rough, but he does have a blue chip. <clears throat> Garcia's in the rough. In the rough. That's a tree hazard. Par three in the rough. Uh, 23 right off the tee. He rolled a six. Is he a master? No, he's neutral for recovery. Ball nicks obstruction but makes it Onto the green, barely double difficult putt for par. And that will make, you can't go any worse than double difficult putt for par, right? I don't think he can. I guess you'd have to go decide or die. He's got a double difficult putt for par. So he can, he's a double difficult putt for par. I believe you can lay up here. If you lay up, I can't remember. I, I think there's something you can just lay up if it's a double difficult putt. 
And if you do that, it becomes, is it an easy putt for bogey? I, let's take a quick look at that. So you got a double difficult putt for par, but it's more diff. you know, the putting's worse. I don't think you can, uh, we're just going to leave it at a one. He could use the blue chip because that you can't get any worse than a double difficult putt for par in that situation. That's an interesting, that's an interesting thing. I'm sure it's, there's a rule, but we're just going to play it. You can't get worse than a dub. Thank you, Robert. Robert, my next question. I know you can lay up. Can you lay up in this situation? So, okay, you, wait, wait, let's think about this. He can use the blue chip and have a difficult putt for par. If he lays up, I want to say that's a gimme putt for bogey or an easy putt for bogey. I think it's a gimme putt for bogey. I think he's going to use the blue chip. Sergio Garcia is going to use the blue chip. I was thinking about laying up, losing a stroke. So if he used the blue chip, and again, I'm not putting it on there, but you should put it there, but I put it next to it so you guys can see. It's now a difficult putt for par, one through three. If he misses, it's a moderate putt for bogey, one through five. And I'm going to look up the layup rule later. If I remember. All right. He's going to use the blue chip. He's going to make it a difficult putt for par one through three. As Robert Bryant says, I'm not sure. Neither am I. And I don't want to, I, I read, I think I read that somewhere, but I'm not sure. Here it goes. One, two or three. He makes the par. This is big for Garcia. He misses. So he's going to bogey the hole, possibly double. He needs a one through five for the bogey. And he makes that. So Garcia difficulty off the tee. Is in on four on this very dangerous par three. He's back at even. Francesco Molinari's only one back, but he has to play the 16th. Sergio uses blue chip. The putting has been horrific for both these golfers. Here comes Malinari. He'd love to get a white six. He doesn't. It's a three. Course controls. That's going to be a 23 with a green six and the decider die. So it's going to be a daunting, challenging hole. But Malinari gets his traits, his uh, semi-traits. So a 23, he's in the rough off the tee. And we're right there anyway. And it's a green six. Is he a master? No. Neutral for recovery. Ball, same thing. Double difficult putt for par. Oh, my Lord. So it's a, and it can't go any worse. So it's a one. He needs a one. He has no blue chip. Molinari is going to use the green die. He needs the one. He doesn't get it. It now becomes a difficult putt for bogey. One through three. And he makes the bogey putt. Woof. But he drops back another stroke. So he's in on four. He's at plus two. Garcia has a two uh, stroke advantage going into the 17th and 18th. And these are tough holes. <laughs> these last three holes. I just mixed up the cards. But when I looked at him, look. Well, the, the 18th isn't bad, but the 17, uh, 16 and 17 are tough. The only, well, not the putting is tough if you hit the rough. So it's not bad. Golfer can control the five here. Uh, Garcia, neither golfer has a blue chip. Garcia has a two stroke lead with two holes to go. Here's Sergio, and he gets the six. He gets the six. He plays it safe. Has to roll triple sixes to miss the putt. He does not. And he gets a blue chip. Things are looking pretty good. So he pars the hole. Stays at even and has a blue chip. 
and he's two strokes up. Molinari needs something huge. Molinari will attack the hole if he gets a white six. Molinari doesn't get the white six. He gets a four. He controls the hole. One, two, two, but no decider die. So he will not have his semi-trait. So a one, two, two. Molinari needs something huge here. He's two back as Garcia's even. Molinari's putting has been putrid. Sergio Garcia's putting has only been semi-putrid. So this is a par four, one, two, two. How do you do on the 17th? A one, two, two. Is he a duffer? No. Is he a hacker? No. Moderate putt for birdie. Oh, he's got to make this. He needs a one or a two. A one or a two. Needs the magic green die. It is a one. It is a one. He finally sinks a putt he had to. And now it's going to be interesting going to the 18th. Molinari pumps his fists. He's in on three. And only one back at plus one. We go to the 18th. There is drama here at the golf course we made. We go to the 18th. This is it, folks. We have drama. It's all you can ask for in games, right? It is a par four, friendly, 485 yards. Course controls 50% of the time, 345. Golfer controls 126. Here we go. Garcia with a blue chip teeing off with a stroke lead. Gets a four course controls. I wonder if I should have used the blue chip to take control, but we didn't say that and I'm not going to do that. So it's a 34 and a green five, no decider die. So Garcia is not a legend or bomber. 34. Not bad. Not bad. It's going to be golf cam course. So he's in the fairway. That's the way I interpret that. He's in the fairway. Not the best shot. Not the worst shot. He's in the fairway. And this is a par four golf cam course. And a red five. Not a red fox. So it's par four. Daunting. Nope. And he's not a scattered golfer. Longer than usual tee shot. Well played iron. Nice opportunity. Clutch putt for birdie. He has a clutch putt for birdie. Okay. So he's neutral. But he has a blue chip. I believe I can play this blue chip and make him gold. And that's what we're going to do. One through five. One through five for Sergio Garcia. I believe that's correct. He has a blue chip. He's neutral when it comes to putting. A clutch putt. We can use the blue chip to make him gold. I believe that is correct. I believe that's what the OG told me. And if the OG told me, it's correct. One through five for the birdie. And here we go. One through five. And he just makes it. Sergio Garcia might have just locked up his victory over the Italian Francesco Molinari. He birdies the 18th, the par four. He's in on three. He is minus one. So Sergio Garcia on the back. Uh, shoots a 35. And he parred the course at 71. Molinari is now two back. He has to eagle. And he ain't doing he's not doing that. Doug Hunt says, way to go, Sergio. Uh Robert Bryant says that's correct the way I played it. Thank you very much. And so Molinari 
is going to think back about all the opportunities lost with his poor putting. He was not hot with the putter. And then the decider die for when it was stormy and stuff, because that's the way we played it. And I think that's more of a tournament thing. So I just decided to use the decider die for that. Molinari. He needs a six. He needs a white six. He gets a five. He's in it. He's be just playing out the hole here. So it's me course control. And it's a 36. He doesn't have the decider die. It's a 36. A 36. Pressing, he puts his second shot in the rough, and it's going to be a green one. So Sergio Garcia celebrating his victory. Molinari just playing it out. It's a par four, second shot in the rough. And you can see the 36, the rough um, icon, and you can see the two. So it's his second shot in the rough which is really cool. I like that. You can visualize it. So again, it's a par four. You can see ball and rough on second shot with a one. Workman, no. Perfect strike. Oh, wow. Perfect strike from an uneven lie. Wow. So Francesco Molinari trying his best. We go to the pin and the bullseye. We're going to re-roll the decider die. And again, the best he can do is a birdie. So he's going to lose by a stroke no matter what. But it would be something if he makes birdie here. So we have to re-roll the white die. And we're going to re-roll the decider die. And it's a two. Easy putt for par. He misses his birdie opportunity. Easy putt for par. He makes, wow, double fives. But that's okay. It's not double sixes. So he pars the 18th. He stays at plus one. And he shot a 72. So he would have shot a... He loses by a stroke. It's uh, plus 137. But yeah, I brought that over, so that's not right. So he was, what do you have? 7, 11, 16, 19, 24, 28, 31, 35. Yep, 72. So they both shoot 35 on the back. So Molinari was two strokes better on the back, but not enough to win. He loses by one stroke. So Sergio Garcia does Spain proud. Francesco Molinari makes the Azuri cry. And there you have it. That was our golf course we created with uh, a set you can pick up at play, and once again, I'll show you it. And I thank everyone who stayed for the all 18 holes. It's uh, the course collection 20, the course designer's toolbox. So, and there's, you know, and like I said, I just pulled out X amount of. There's mostly uh, par fours on a golf course. I just looked at the Masters and I kind of mimicked it. And then there was like, after that, there were four par fives and four par threes. And I just shuffled up the par fours, the par fives, and the par threes. Took them out uh, as many as I wanted. And then without looking, and then I shuffled them again. And then I sort of, you didn't want to have like a bunch of par threes in a row. I, and... So I made the golf course. It was fun. And Sergio Garcia is the one. So that was a lot of fun. I'm not tired. I don't want to go to sleep. My vacation's coming to an end. So I'm going to go on eBay and bid on plastic football helmets when I was a kid. I'm going to win that bid, maybe. I'd like to thank Doug Hunt, Robert Bryant, 
Chris Anderson, again, hope mom and dad are doing well, as well as your lovely wife. Appa Chatter, congrats to 200 subscribers. D. Scott Howard, the Goat Whisperer. I think I said Robert, Brian, and Doug, but I'll say it again. Robert and Doug, thank you, thank you. J.D. the Dragon was here. Check out his wonderful channel. Bernard Strom Sports Replays, Dave Gardner. Check out their wonderful channels. David Little, check out his wonderful channel. The original Grognard, our good friend Devin, the OG. Check out his Facebook group page and his channel. And, of course, uh, Lock and Load, right? He helps that uh, develop new games for Lock and Load. Scroll up, scroll up. Thomas Bartlett, thank you. Gary Sorrell, Dan Burke, Richie L1991. Hope you and your wife and your lovely baby are doing well. Arnold Hunter, Alan Barry. I think we got everybody. Well, if you enjoyed the stream, smack that like button. It's up to you. If you have not subscribed and you want to, That'd be awesome. Check Also subscribe to the other wonderful content creators in our community if you haven't. If you do subscribe, I suggest you hit the notification button for not just myself, but the others who you subscribe to so you won't miss out on the fun. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people though you'll be treated. God bless. I greatly appreciate everyone's time. Love you all. We'll see you soon. Hopefully, God willing. And uh, peace. Bye-bye. Sergio Garcia. Defeats my paisan Francesco Molinari by a stroke.